Namaskaram Sadhguru. My name is Tanna Himhani. I wanted to ask you that often I have seen people who get into spirituality let go of their ambition and leave things to destiny. Does spirituality reduce one's hustle and ambition? Well, ambition, uh, see, there is a longing in every human being to be something more than what they are right now. Is that so for all three of you? Hmm? Whatever you are right yeah. now, you want to be something more. So whatever you are dreaming of as something more, maybe finishing this B school and you have a few companies, most of them are American companies <laughs> in your mind uh, that you must become something there. Why you… you are just thinking of a job, but I will make you tomorrow morning the CEO of that company that you're dream, dreaming of. Within a little bit of time, would you want to be something more? Yes or no? All right, you want to be something more, you want to be a CEO of ten companies, why like that? I will make you the king or queen of this planet. Will you settle? No, you will want the moon also. If I give you the moon, you'll want the other… Uh, other planets in the solar system. If I give you the whole solar system, you'll want the universe. If I give you the universe, you want the next galaxy and the next galaxy. So I'm saying there is something within you which is longing to expand limitlessly. When this longing to expand limitlessly finds a very constipated expression, that is called as ambition. Unfortunately, most people constipate this longing to expand limitlessly into a simple ambition, I want to become this. And by defin… by defining that, they will become extremely small. So ambition is a very small thing. Spiritual process means you have a larger vision. Ambition means you want to get a piece of creation in some way for yourself. Spirituality means you are not going to settle even if the whole creation is given to you, you want the creator himself, the source of creation you want. Tell me which is more ambitious in your perspective. So I'm saying, if you give up small desires and go for a big one, is that dropping your ambition? Not at all. It is just that what people hold as great ambitions, you can do it playfully just like that. Simply because your vision is larger than that, your expression of expansion is very, very rapid and big because of this, these things will happen effortlessly. A certain amount of comfort, certain amount of security is people's ambition, unfortunately. A whole lot of people's ambition is to find a job, to build their own house. These days somebody builds it for you. There was a time when you had to build it with your own house, which always was badly planned and quite a mess. And uh, where uh, Arvind comes from, there are uh, things, mane katti nodu, madhve maadi nodu, all that stuff. Oh, you understand Kannada? So what this means, what this means is, the great achievements in life is this, if you want experience of life, build a house and see, and conduct a wedding and see. These are the profound experiences of life. I think this is the dumbest way to approach life. This is what ambition means, you hold small things as too big. Getting a job, earning a living, getting to a certain place of comfort, these are not great achievements in life. A human being is capable of something far, far bigger, okay, infinitely bigger than that. So please do not constrict yourself with simple ambitions, let there be a larger vision as to what you want to create. What is it that you want to create? As I said earlier, let me repeat this, the value of your life is only in these two things, profoundness of your experience, impactfulness of your activity, that's all that matters. That uh, we come to the close of this very insightful session. Sadhguru, thank you for your candor, thank you for your wit, thank you for your insights. This was something that was very different and unique for us, for all of us here at ISP. And we really look forward to reflecting back upon everything, all these ideas that came through this very enriching conversation. Until next time, thank you Sadhguru, Namaskaram. Namaskaram. I would uh, like to wish all the… all of you, three of you and all of the others who are online or who will watch this, 
you are in a premier institution in a country like India, where millions and millions of young people of your age, for them it's just a dream to be in a institution like this. So you are a privileged few and this privilege that you have to study or to spend these two or three years in uh, such an institution, uh, giving you various skills and possibilities, you must see this as a tremendous empowerment that the whole society is contributing to provide this in some way. So, uh, this empowerment should not go waste just pursuing silly ambitions. You must hold a larger vision for the well-being of the nation and the entire humanity, how you can find solutions, how you can create new possibilities. Do not waste your life when you're highly empowered with education. Do not waste your life on silly ambitions of this and that. It's very important that you... If your skills, if your capabilities, your intelligence and the talent and the training that you go through here has to find full expression, you need a very inclusive vision. Please develop that vision for yourself. If you need any help from us, we are always available for this. Please, let's make this happen. Thank you very much. Sadhguru, we'll Thank definitely so much. want to follow that. Pranam, please bless us.